For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how to use non-volatile memory inside of CircuitPython to store data between power cycles on your device. So what you can see here, I have a macro pad. And right now it's displaying on its little display the number zero, and I have the first or zeroth key pressed. As I press other keys, you can see I'm lighting up different numbers there. And as I'm pressing those, it is not only lighting it up and displaying it, it is also storing that number into one byte of the non-volatile memory on the chip. What that means is, if I unplug this, it still remembers that five was the number that I pressed most re recently. So I'm gonna go ahead and power that back up. And you'll see as it comes up, it remembers, hey, five, that was the number. Uh, so the way that it does that is by any time I press a button, I'm displaying it and I am saving that number, whatever that value is, into the non-volatile memory. The way this works in CircuitPython, you are going to key thing here from microcontroller, import NVM, non-volatile memory. Uh, then I'm doing some setup of my display. I'm creating a variable called stored number, which is set to the first index or first position of the non-volatile memory. The rest of this is all about setting up the uh, NeoPixels, the keys, and the display. But down here in the main loop of the program, if I press a key, when that gets pressed, I am storing that number, of whatever the key press is, 0 through 11 in this case. I'm then printing it, I'm setting the color on the NeoPixel, and here I am saving that number into non-volatile memory, right there, NVM index 0 equals stored number. So when I press a new number, how about uh, number 10 here, power this off, power this on, it is going to remember the number and display it for me. Uh, and this will also work when you reset the board, so we can go ahead and click on the little reset button there, and when that fires back up, it says, yep, 10, I remember that. And so that is how you can use non-volatile memory inside of CircuitPython to store data between power cycles and resets. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.